Well, um, I find it really weird if you found this video, but this is the Logitech G5 mouse, mostly from a retrospective perspective, whatever. You probably came to this video to look at this old thing and find the software, of course. Good for an, a really old mouse, I think this came on 2005, uh, passed down. So it was from my dad, this mouse, and it's a really good mouse. Uh, had this since 2011 in my hands, and I love this mouse. Uh, when I started using th side buttons, like I got two side buttons on like a, my uh, G502, I got that after this one, and then the 402 at the same time. Uh, I did not like this one anymore, but I did still like the shape of the G5, so um, cable still holds up. It's pretty much a shape of the MX518, 510, or 500 series, but um, this is ultimately my favorite mouse, and will never get rid of this as it's my first mouse. Also had uh, the Logitech G15 keyboard, I think it's called. Not sure it's under these mouses with that LCD display on. Um. So, uh, let's just go in the software. So, the link in the description below will lead you to the driver for this mouse. It took me a while to find, but I found it. So. You can't store any profiles on this mouse, however, uh, if you have the software open, it goes up to its full capacity. Because I'm pretty sure on, like, without the driver, you only are able to go up to 500Hz, go up to 2000 DPI, 800, or 1200, I think, and 400. So, um, in the software, you can change whatever you want, just like any other thing. It also says it's a laser mouse, however, I'm pretty sure it's the laser mixed with optical. It's really similar to the um, G402 mouse, however, I'm pretty sure the MX518 is still much better than uh, this mouse. Now, 500Hz uh, polling rate and 1000Hz polling rate really doesn't have a difference. In my opinion, I don't notice anything, but... In the software, you can see you can turn off acceleration and everything. I turn off enable smooth scrolling because you don't need that, especially it already sounds horrible. <laughs> so um, you can like do things here and stuff. Um, I recommend going to OS implementation, turn that off. Then you go here, you can change your DPI and everything, which I never actually knew you could do that with this mouse until like 2013, I figured that out. I, this was my very first gaming mouse and I just love it. So you can link that, that means you can like raise them at the same time. So you could have like 400 DPI and 800 DPI for your Y. So you can change that and all. Uh, it's kind of hard to use this thing in my opinion, so you have to like slide the slider here You can like make different profiles and then you can change your uh, DPI and like move a light um, Once you apply it also, I recommend uh, when you get on the software by the way when it goes to See like sometimes I have this problem. I gotta, gotta Fix that there we go. Now we're back at 400, so um, make sure you go up to 1000 hertz. Oh, also it has actually a 200, 250, and a 333 hertz polling rate option. So um, make sure you go to 1000, press OK, and apply, and OK. So you're always going to have to have to leave that on in the background. This game, I just played it. So I got a Logitech G15 keyboard right next to me, which is the same keyboard I used with this mouse, but it's pretty much unusable, I can't use it. Out, but I don't think anyone's gonna go that fast. I mean, okay, yeah. 
if you play something else than Counter-Strike, then you might see it. But if you're still playing Counter-Strike, this is still a usable mouse. I give this mouse a 10 out of 10 still f for being so old and worn out. Well, thank you guys for looking at the video about my Logitech G5, my first gaming mouse. As I said, they made an MX518 with uh, the side buttons lower without this ridge here. I would definitely get it, but at the moment, the MX518 Legendary, it's the same as the MX518 layout for the side buttons. I don't like it. If they improve that with good uh, side buttons, then I'm definitely going to buy it. And also, I don't like this ridge here. It hurts to sometimes play with it, so I have to move it more in the back holding it. So yeah, also if you relax like this, it's not possible, so you have to play like this. It's exactly the mouse for my grip, but the shape is just too obsolete. If they just modify the shape a bit more, then I will love it. Thanks for checking this mouse out. Oh. That's why I play against bots.